Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and today I'm not going to be bringing you a historical battle or anything of any historical connotations. This is going to be a battle doing what Tabs was designed for in the first place, which is being a silly battle maker uh, and a silly battle fighter. So what we've got here is, as you can probably tell by the title, what if zombies attacked Rome, uh, back at the height of the Roman army, uh, well, the Roman Empire, and so that's exactly what we've got. We've got Romans on one side, and we've got a whole heck of a lot of zombies that I've just now made uh, on the other side. So, the Romans, of course, are not going to be have been changed. This is a 7x3 deep, as per standard, of my Roman uh, Roman legionaries, with a centurion at the front, Velites at the behind, and we've also got Triari coming to back them up as a clump of 16 down uh, either corridor. So yeah, they're going to be coming uh, to take out, uh, or to help out the Romans regain control of this part of Rome, this being an analogue for Rome. Uh, dotted in amongst the zombies are plebs. They are going to die. They're going to die very quickly, because these are just armed citizens who have come out to try and take out the zombie horde, or at least try and clean off some of them from their house probably. Uh, they've been separated from all of their other survivors, they're now stuck in the horde and they're going to die, so they're not going to really do much other than distract the zombies, which uh, I suppose will help the legionaries with the clean up a little bit. Um, as for the zombies, these guys are your standard zombies. Um, I've given them ghost eyes so that you can see that they're not regular people. We've got tattered clothes from where they've been you know, scratched and bitten by the zombies uh, to turn into one of them. So yeah, these guys are just pretty standard zombies. They're very slow. They're shamblers. They only have uh, they have half the move speed of a regular wobbler, aka the Romans. So they're slower. They also do less damage and they have a slower attack speed. And they only have like 60 health, so they'll go down in one or two hits. But that's not all. Dotted in amongst them, we have got these guys, runners. They are faster than your regular zombie, uh, but they also have got less health than your regular zombie. They do attack quicker, but for slightly less damage, so I think overall they have got slightly better DPS than a regular zombie, but not by a lot. They're faster than a, than a uh, Roman, so if a Roman is trying to run away, these guys can catch up to them um, without a problem, but yeah, they only have 50 health. These guys are armed zombies. They have got a stick. Ugh. What else would they have? Uh, they are just zombies who, at the at the person's death, they probably had a weapon to try and fight off the zombies. They died. The zombies' muscle memory regained control of the weapon, and uh, yeah, they're, they're just wandering about, not knowing they're carrying it. They have got like five extra health than a regular zombie, but otherwise they're exactly the same. They just have a stick for slightly longer reach. And then right back here, we've got the thugs, aka the tanks. These guys have got a lot of health. They do a lot of damage, but they attack very slowly, and they move even slower than a regular zombie. But these guys are going to be the things that the Romans will want to take out because, yeah, a, a squad of legionaries will probably struggle even against one of these big guys. Uh, at least that's the plan. So, yeah, they're just dotted in amongst them. Like I said, there's about six of them here. There's a bunch of runners, a bunch of armed zombies, and the rest of them are all just shambling undead. So, the Romans are outnumbered by over two to one, as you can see. 280 zombies to 100 Romans. The Romans are also outcosted by about 7,000 uh, 7, points. So, yeah, we'll just have to see how this goes. So, let's get into it. So, in they go. I did have signifiers keeping the Romans, Roman lines uh, as standard, but uh, they didn't. They were going to cause a problem for the Romans. They would have split up the force, and the plebs already dead as the. Uh, as the, as the front lines of the legionaries crash into the Romans. Obviously the Felites are doing their things. Uh, back here, yeah, already the plebs have all died. Yep, he's dead there. He's dead over there. Yeah, this guy is also about to die. I doubt they'll even kill one zombie, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, yeah, and he's dead as well. So, yeah, I don't think the plebs actually managed to kill off a single zombie. I think all of the zombies are still alive. So yeah, the plebs, uh, plebs, as I expected, they shouldn't have come out, they should have stayed in their homes, uh, but they didn't and they're dead. As for the Romans though, none of the other Romans are dead. All of the legionaries are up, I think, except for that guy. Uh, I think that guy's dead. They've lost one legionary. Um, 
on this side, but they're quite easily mopping up the zombies. There you go, a nice slash, and down goes the zombie. On this side, uh, yeah, the Romans are pretty much alright. Uh, I don't think they've lost a single man. But as we come over here, though, they're now going to get start getting all of these guys coming from behind. In goes an infected, aka a runner, coming in from behind. Yep, yeah, they're really being swarmed. There's like two, two zombies coming in from this side, armed zombies. Uh, the Triari are slowly coming forwards. Here, in goes a Velite missile. Oh god, I think you might have... I think the Velite might have just taken out one of their own men. Uh, yeah, they're... Oh god, the Velites are really going to be a... Uh, really going to be a bit of a danger to the Romans, aren't they? Uh, as there's a big crush here right now. <laughs> as, the, as the Triari are moving forwards, and they're getting caught up within the Velites. Um, yeah, like I said, the real... Oh my god, the Velite sniped a zombie. I, he singed past that legionary's head and hit a zombie. Oh my god, that was very lucky for that legionary. I was sure he was going to die. Uh, but yeah, the zombies, of course, coming into the Wall of Steel, and it's really not doing them any favours. Over here, though, the Romans have come into contact with one of the, one of the tanks, one of the thugs, who is going to start trying to do its thing for the zombie, and just look how many there are. Just look at how many blinking eyes and glowing eyes there are. The Romans are really, uh, yeah, they're a bit outnumbered. Um, but like I said, the Romans should have a pretty good chance of winning this, even so, even though they are outnumbered by, you know, about 180, uh, 180 units. But as you can see, they've cleaned up a decent amount of zombies so far. They're coming into contact with the uh, larger zombie force. Which, as you can see, just isn't stopping. I mean, it is now. You can see the dead plebs. And you can also see the dead plebs where they didn't actually manage to kill a single zombie like I predicted. But, look at this lot. Look at this lot coming into the crush of Roman shields. In goes the thug. Uh, well, the tanks have got, I think, 500 health. Um, they do 8 times the damage. But they have got, like... 10% attack speed, so they attack very slow, but they do have very powerful attacks, and they're nearly guaranteed to hit someone in this mesh. Look at how many of them there are. The zombies are just getting pushed up by their comrades, who have no clue what they're doing. Uh, they're just being pushed onto the wall of Roman... <laughs> oh my god! They're just, be they're just trying to climb over the top, there's just so many of them that they just don't know how to deal with the Romans. You've got a uh, tank here, still being pushed up. Yeah, got a runner, got everyone coming in here. Uh, yeah, just so many Romans being pushed up against these zombies. Um, God. This side seems to be having more success over this side, uh, by the looks of it. This side is actually getting forced back a little bit towards the Velites, which... Uh, which, yeah, I'm not too sure about. They, this guy, these guys uh, might not be able to hold, looking at, uh, looking at how far they're being pushed back. If we compare it to this side, uh, they seem to be holding back for the moment. Uh, obviously, the, obviously, the tanks are going to be the ones that are going to be uh, doing the, the major push for the zombies. And I think most of the tanks have actually ended up on this side. Whereas this side, as you can see, there's still quite a few of them left. Uh, quite a few Romans left. Uh, we'll only really know at the end of the battle um, how many zombies actually died on either side. But yeah, this side is being pushed back. They're slowly holding. Uh, the Velites at the back, obviously, a couple of them have been brought forwards thanks to the uh, thanks to the Triari. But you can see see some zombies trying to ride over the top here. Um, there's two thugs here. Three at the back there. Uh, so yeah, there's there's three tanks. Um, I'm calling them thugs because that's the Dead Island terminology that I'm used to. Uh, but yeah, the tanks are, are obviously doing their thing there. They're distracting the Romans. This side actually might be looking at falling soon. You can see just the amount of zombie bodies that there are though. Uh, a couple of Romans have been flung over the top. In fact, here's a Triari. Oh, very lucky that uh, that... that uh, I want to call him a thug. The tank, the, he's very lucky that tank missed his swing and his second swing, but there are some zombies being brought around the corner. 
possibly didn't manage to come all the way over here. I don't know, or maybe they were caught up on something. No idea why they're still back there. Oh, in goes the tank. Oh, shot to shot to the chest. Actually, I thought that was a headshot. Oh, very nice shot there from the Velite. Manages to take him down. They've taken down one of the tanks. Very nice Velite missile there. That one wasn't. He just killed one of the Romans. That's the, you idiot. <laughs> you idiot, Velites. That one went into someone. I think that's a dead body. That went into yeah, dead body. Um, they've they've mostly cleaned up actually on this side. They might just hold. They might just hold. This side. Oh yeah, I reckon they've got it in the bag on this side. This. I think there's definitely a lot more Romans here. A lot more Romans than the other side. Just look at the amount of zombie bodies that there are. Zombies are still doing their best. Um, you got this tank dealing with a Triari and a legionary who are yeah they're both doing their best to try and uh, try and stop him Ooh, the zombie just went into the back of the legionary took him out and i think the tank just took out another legionary there with a punch roman line is obviously thinning a velite just chucked his missile into a shield congratulations um of this side oh yeah this side is looking a lot more dire there's very few very few romans left and those that are are in the melee um oh that guy just took a big old punch from the uh big old punch from the tank as he charges in again there's still two tanks on this side which is the which is the major problem uh, hopefully the Velites will actually uh, will actually be able to to pull this back for the Romans. Watching that spear go in, oh, I think that hit the shield. Yeah, that just about caught the shield hitbox. Uh, most of the Velites, all of the Velites, in fact, have actually been drawn over to that side. So these guys have actually been doing remarkably well without missile coverage, um, as they just take out another tank. There's only one tank left on this side, so the tanks did actually split up 50-50, which is uh, which is nice of the zombies, give both sides an equal chance. Uh, this Triari hunched up against his shield, which is keeping him a, a good distance away from the zombies, although that one's trying to bite his arm. <laughs> oh, I think a thug just took that one out. <laughs> I think the tank just uh, tank just did a friendly fire incident with that guy. Uh, the Romans though, yeah, there's just a few zombies left. There's an armed zombie there, there's a regular zombie there. You've obviously got these few zombies here as they finally take out this Triari. He's oh, unfortunate. He was a bit swamped. Uh, there's still, you know, five or six Romans here. There's actually a Velite here chucking his <laughs> chucking his uh, spear into something. On this side, still a bit more dire. Uh, I think there's more, possibly slightly more Romans on this side. Uh, in goes a punch from the uh, from the tank. Oh, going for a death hug. Doesn't manage it. The arm wrapped around, but it obviously didn't have the force to uh, take him out. This is a Triari that he's uh, tangling with. Trying to get, uh, trying to get his spear into progress. Oh, there we go. Nice jab. Oh, great. He got a nice jab. He killed one with a jab from the spear, got another with the shield bash, and then died to one of those damn Velites again. I thought you guys were supposed to be on the same team. You just shot your spear through like two of them. <laughs> you, just, you just shot your spear through like two of your comrades that were right in front of you. What, the, sh is the, the spear not armed itself so it didn't have collision or something? I don't know, that guy's very lucky. Over here, just the tank and his three little zombie comrades against uh, the Triari. Oh, he takes out one of the Triari there. Very nice smash to the face. But can the Triari take him out? I reckon so. I reckon they, are, they should have it. There's three Triari and a Velite. Uh, the Velite at least should... The Velite has got very low chance of actually hitting one of his comrades. Their glancing blow off of the shield from this guy, and the Triari does a very short punch. Oh, glancing blow off the helmet there. The uh, other Triari appears to have fallen down. There's only one zombie left. Two zombies left on this side. This guy just got he just got smacked to the ground by uh, by the attack. Oh, that guy actually died. But the Velite, I think the Velite missed with that. Oh, there's a legionary stuck under there. <laughs> the Velite missed with his missile, but uh, 
above the legionary uh, got the follow-up stab. Tank going for the punch, misses. On this side, uh, they've actually managed to kill the last... Yes, they have. They've killed the last tank. They have managed to kill the last tank. In goes a spear. Oh, narrowly misses the head of that, that zombie. Triari does a night charge, along with another one towards these this mess of zombies. And... Oh, he just gets clawed to the back and he dies. That's unfortunate for him. Under here, oh, there's still a, there's a zombie rising out from under the grave. There's several of the zombies actually are just stuck under this pile of bodies. They just hid them from view. Over here, the tank he's doing his best. There's one Valite left over here still, and the Triaria and the Legionary. Uh, there's actually. A legionary and a triari under here, but the triari has had his, he's got his, uh, he's got his spear stuck, I think, by the looks of it, under under some bodies. There's no way he's getting that free. And this legionary, I think, is just sort of stuck. That's the problem with trying to fight over this amount of bodies. Uh, the the units just sort of get stuck. Oh, going for a punch, misses, hits the building. Leave them to it. <laughs> On this side, oh, Triari, in he goes, smacks his head against the wall, but I think it's just these two zombies left. Don't know if there's any underneath. Something's moving under there, but I don't know, don't know who or what is moving. Might be a zombie, might be a Roman. Uh, judging by the Romans that are all stuck over here, it could be a zombie, but yeah, the Roman there just went, f went with a punch. And this Triari, yeah, he's, he's, oh, I was going to say he's doing all right, but no, nope, just got punched. And these guys are going to be, these guys are going to be stuck for the next while whilst they try and kill the zombie that's under the pile. Uh, over here, the Triari, or at least someone managed to kill. No, the Triari's there. I think the Triari possibly might have killed the, uh, killed the big guy. So yeah, down he goes. That's very nice. That's a win. Win for the uh, win for the Romans. Oh dear, there's a zombie trapped under there. You can just about see his head. <laughs> just about see his head under there. Um, yeah, over here I think the zombies. Oh yeah, they're trying to get a Roman who's stuck under there. Uh, that's another Triari because his because uh, his uh, spear is stuck. I think the last remaining few units for either side are going to be ones that are stuck under the pile, and in went a javelin there from the uh, from the Velites. I can only hope that their uh, magic missiles here can uh, snipe the one that's stuck under here. Stop the Romans from uh, stop the Romans from uh, ineffectually hitting the pile of bodies. Because uh, that's what it's coming down to right now. There's a uh, there's a zombie stuck under there in, under the crushing pile and there's nothing that anyone can do about it because he's just stuck. Uh, on this side, though, the Romans are coming to the last few zombies, the, uh, aka the ones that are going after this, after the still alive Triari who's stuck under the bodies. Uh, and yeah, I don't think this is going to change for a while, so uh, I'll, I'll come back when the when the battle's done. Right. So what we've got here is we've got a, the uh, we've got effectively a never-ending battle, and the reason for that is that there's one zombie left, uh, and he is... Oh, hello, there's a Roman there. Uh, there's one zombie left, and he's right under there, under here. And, uh, well, I'll just show you how much health he has. Here he is. He's got absolutely no health. He's got a slight sliver of health, but uh, just can't reach him. Because he's, he's just sort of... He's trapped under the pile of bodies. Given, like, half hour, maybe, the Romans will be able to... Uh, these Romans will be able to uh, get him out of here, but he's kind of stuck under here. Let's be real. Uh, from my third-person camera, you you can see him uh, when I'm controlling him. You you can see uh, you can see the Romans, but there's absolutely no way these guys are really going to be able to get to him, uh, under here. So we'll uh, just do the post-battle report as is. Uh, the Romans won this. Just about. It was touch and go, I do have to admit, especially on this side. Uh, but 
the total amount of Romans left up, you've got three or four Triari here. Uh, yeah, there's four. These guys are all Triari, so you have four Triari. You've also got another few over here. I think there's another like two or three here. Uh, plus, you've got this guy who's trapped under here. He ain't getting out of there for a while, but he is another Triari. He's stuck under there. Uh, there's one, maybe two legionaries. I did manage to free the guy who was stuck over here. As you can see, here's where he was. Uh, I managed to unstick him by uh, just attacking repeatedly. So he's around here. There's another Roman. Here he is, this guy. I think he is probably a Triari stuck under there. Let me just check if I can see his arm. He is actually a legionary. He's grabbing his gladius there, you can see. So yeah. He's a legionary. Up he goes. Oh, is he actually escaping? Oh, he's trying it at least. He's trying to escape. Uh, but yeah, so he's trying to escape, but he's another legionary, so there's about two more legionaries. And then you've got a large majority of the... Uh, oh yeah, see, there's the, there's the legionary right there. There he goes, trying his best to yeet himself over. <laughs> uh, you've got nearly every single Felite is uh, is still alive here as well. Uh, you've obviously got these five at the back, you've got one or two here. Um, I think, yeah, we've got one, two, three, four Velites there. I think there's probably another one, perhaps, out of those three Romans there. So, yeah, there's about three, ver three or so more Velites there. So... They maybe lost one or two, probably got carried forwards by the Triari, and then got killed by the zombies. Uh, but overall, yeah, you see there's one of the one of the uh, Velite spears right there. But overall, most of the Velites actually lived. Uh, none of the plebs obviously lived. There they all are, scattered around their bodies. Definitely didn't kill a single zombie. Uh, but the carnage, as you can see, there's where the zombie, the front row of zombies, met the Romans. Absolutely no casualties out of any of them. The first few Roman bodies start coming up over here. One of the centurions fell over here. Uh, but yeah, so there's a centurion dead in here somewhere. Uh, and then the rest of these guys are obviously the ones who perished in the in the mass horde. Uh, the same over this side, but uh, I think there's probably more Roman bodies on this side. Uh, it was, like I said, touch and go. Still, obviously, a lot of dead zombies. But you can see where this side got pushed back a lot more than the other side. As you can see, um, these guys are far, far closer to the opening in the centre of town, whereas uh, the guys on the other side over here are far more spread out. Well, further down the corridor, rather. Further down the alleyway. Uh, road, street, whatever you want to call it. They're further down there. Uh, and yeah, th this is going to be never ending, I don't think. Uh, I can see if I can try and free the zombie one last time, but uh, I, I don't think it's happening. Hey, there you go. So somebody managed to peg him, somehow. Uh, I don't know where or how they managed to get that zombie. I don't even know where in the relation of this method they are. But somewhere under there, there is a zombie, and he finally died. And uh, yeah, as you can see, red victory. So yeah. Romans just about managed to win that. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty close. However, uh, even though they do have quite a few units back here, most of these guys are velites. They are ranged units. They would have had slightly less success fighting, uh, fighting all these zombies than uh, the triarii and the and the legionaries have done. Uh, oh, there's one of the plebs. Uh, but yeah, that that was uh, mighty impressive of the Roman army. They managed to successfully contain the outbreak in the in the city. Uh, Rome has been saved. Like I said, this side definitely seemed to have far more success than this side. I don't know why that happened, considering a lot of the Velites have, have migrated to this side. So I don't know how this side, considering that they had no missile support uh, for a large majority of that, actually did as well as they did. But then perhaps it's, that's the reason why they had so much success, because, well, we all know tabs, <laughs> tabs, um, spear throwers. They can often do friendly fire, for instance, as you saw a couple of times in this battle. So that's probably why this side had a better go at it. Uh, the tanks did split evenly, 50-50, three on each side, which is very nice. Uh, possibly this side got more of the zombies than this side. 
again not too sure why that would happen but perhaps that's why they uh, were in danger of being overwhelmed but the line did manage to hold um, I'll probably do this a couple more times one with the uh, one with the Greeks and uh, one with the uh, what is it? <laughs> one with the uh, Carthaginians probably uh, give those mercenaries a good try uh, probably also the Celts and, and all that as well. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. The uh, Romans did successfully manage to hold back the zombies. So I'll thank you all for watching and goodbye.